and welcome to King Cole. I'm Susan and this is Joanne and Hi. we're here today to talk about camouflage. So camouflage DK is um, one of our new offerings and um, it's 100% premium acrylic. It comes in 100 gram balls and for that you get 285 meters or 311 yards. Which is pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Um, so it's a standard DK, 4 millimeter needles which is US 6 and it's 22 stitches to 28 rows um, for your tension. So works with a lot of other patterns as well as the ones that we've done. Um, it's a 40 degree wash, I would say wool wash, um, I never recommend just throwing things in with the general wash ever. <laughs> no, not when you spend there's hours all, doing something. There's always that moment that it could go drastically wrong but uh, a 40 degree wool wash is what I'm recommending for that one. You can dry clean it, you can cool tumble dry it, but please don't iron it and please don't bleach it. Um, I mean bleach is pretty obvious but um, <laughs> we you know, still need to say. to say it. Um, so yeah, anyway that's, that's that one. So we've got six lovely shades in this. Uh, we both felt it was quite a, a the, some quite good men's colours in this one. Um, Definitely. Yeah, so I'm going to start off with this one which we have called Midnight. Um, it's mainly blues, they're all on sort of a, a slightly off-white background but this one's mainly blues with a little bit of brown and I would say it's sort of a blue-grey. A bluey-grey colour, in sorry. In that one. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that sorry, kind of day, sorry. Um, I don't know if you can tell we've got lovely sunshine here today and it's, but we're all feeling a little bit hair fever. So never mind. Yeah. Um, now the next one is Woodland. And this one again, it's got the creamy off white background, and we've got greens and a bit of all the greens and, and browns, like like a woodland, yeah, like you is. would expect. Um, fabulous color if you like your browns, and if you again, it's called camouflage. We've tried to give you a, an indication on the on the ball band of the sort of um, colors that you you're gonna get. It won't work perfectly because it never does um, with yeah. the with the printing. So the next one is Purple Mist and this has got all different shades of purples. In, and the off-white. Yeah, with the, with the off-white as well. So you've got an almost pinky purple, you've got a lilac, you've got a dark deep purple in there. Um, so yeah, lo lovely set of colours. Okay, and I'll carry on. <coughs> and this next shade is oh, Marine and it's all different shades of blue, like a pale blue, oh, like a midnight blue, a navy blue, yeah. a royal blue, mm. and with the off-white. Yeah. So I think it's quite a nice one. It's a slightly brighter one than the other. And yeah, This it is. one doesn't have the browns in where this one has, has yes. the browns in. At the risk of sounding sexist, that's almost more the manly shade. And this one could be more man or woman. Yeah, um, somebody who likes blues. Yeah, like me. it is. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. And this one is like a really hot <clears throat> pink one, actually. Yeah. It's like some soft pinks. But like a lot of bright pink and off white, and the shade is called hot pink, as the name yeah shows I, you there. I do remember many years seeing children's cargo pants done in in these oh, yeah, shades yeah. of pink for little girls. Um, don't know if that's popular now, but it was popular maybe I don't know, fifteen twenty years ago <laughs> when um, kids were young when they were little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the last one, it, oh, this one is different to the woodland, and this one is called desert because it's more the browns. I think there's a little bit of a, a Pale, a pale green, a pale green, yeah, a bit of grey again, and the off white, and also like, would you say a bit of a tanny brown? There is, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely, it's definitely desert. lighter. There's a, a lot of lighter um, sections to this, and, and a bit more grey. Yeah, on that one, this one doesn't really seem to have any. Yeah, that one has more olive one's, green. Sorry. Yeah, that one's got got yeah. grey in it. So, so there's some nice new shades. Sorry, knocking things over. Mm -hmm. Right, shall I start with you? Go we've got, first. We haven't got all the garments on this one because the show's going on at the moment, so they keep pinching our, our items. Yeah, um, so I've got 6082, which has got a series of um, accessories. accessories for all the family, really. The only couple I've been able to get my hands on is a lovely basic hat with a 2x2 two two rib and then just some stocking stitch which again it would work for anyone and um, I'd be quite tempted to stick a pom-pom <coughs> I would actually on that one even though it doesn't have one on um, yeah. so yeah just a lovely basic knit on that one and this one is something that we see quite a lot of at the moment which is like a tiny little tabard which is just for around the neck yeah <coughs> so this is and that one has to roll down girl. collar as well yeah and it's just to keep that little bit warm when you've got an open, open yeah. collared jacket on um, but yeah, I think that's really 
quite cute but also I think it is cute and we've got other hats textured hat and a cowl and a, yep and a cowl um, and a nice scarf <coughs> yeah to you know something for everyone in a family I think this yeah. is quite nice it doesn't say easy knit I haven't read the instructions no, so I, I think, think on that there's there's some easy knit like the hat but there were some other bits that weren't so we didn't want to mislead anyone and say well it's yeah easy knit and then you find that you've picked one up that you that can't have it isn't yeah. Um, but yeah, just you know, have a little look, ask for some advice at your shop or whatever, and and just see if the yeah. you know your skills are uh, will work with that one. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm passing it already it's down. Okay. We're moving on here. Six oh seven nine. This is actually the cardigans. I have a couple to show you. Mm -hmm. They're quite big, warm ones. I think. Well, today I felt a bit chilly walking to work, mm -hmm. so I think they would be ideal. So we have that one. And we have the one in, was it Purple Mist? Yes. I'll hold the Purple yep. Mist one up. They're quite mm -hmm. big, so you're not going to see me. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, there yep. we go. Yeah, so pockets on this yep. one. Um, some lovely buttons that from our tube button range there. Lovely, sort of quite simple um, v-neck cardigan on that one. So very useful. Yeah. A very sort of everyday wear. And you can actually see, like, now I'm holding it up, if I can see, there's actually a little bit of blue. Or is that like a bluey colour in it? It's bluey purple. A yeah, bluey it's purple. Definitely bluey purple. Yeah, it's there. quite nice up mm. close, you yeah, know? It is. Yeah, it is. I, I think, think it's quite sweet. you need to see them knit up, don't you? You too? do, because it's really hard to gauge from the bob end. Mm. I would have never have seen it. And then we have the big one. This one's like the rolled collar, which I think is quite nice. And I like the details, the ribbon around the yeah. waist. It's got a waist, has this one. So if you yeah. want your cardigans with a waist, then there you go. Yeah. Um, if you didn't, obviously you can just omit that section. Yeah, you can. Plastic. You don't yeah. have to uh, have to put that bit in. But it's quite a nice detail if you like something that's a bit more shaped. But again, really useful pockets. You've got your little shawl collar on. And it's got quite a jackety feel yeah. to it. I don't, I don't like, like things shape, always with a waist. <laughs> well, no, it's don't work for everybody. Yeah, um, some things work well with some people. It's other things, like, I think because I'm a short person, it just mm. makes me feel like I'm a bit more round than I yeah. need to be, <laughs> you know? Never mind. Never yeah. mind. But, it work, you know, some people, it really is flattering for. If you're it tall, it I think it would you'd carry that off really yeah, well. You could. Okay. So. Right. Okay. Where am I next? Right. I am on, um, there's a lovely little hoodie with a pocket across and then there's the jumper version um i think i've only managed to get my hands on the hoodie today yeah so if i but i'll hold that up hold i really yeah. like the pocket detail in the hoodie yeah like we get lots of requests people asking if we have more hoodie mm. patterns so we do listen yeah so and that's it in, yeah i think inside sleeves just looks lovely for um a little girl, a little girl really on an autumn day which yeah. is coming up proper it's september proper tomorrow mm. yeah yeah. Um, so yeah, nice, nice hood on it, and um, just a really cute little kids yeah, top. Easy knit. But it does go up to ladies' sizes as well. So if you yeah. want that kind of hoodie, yeah, go for it. And a classic, cool. like you know, jumper mm -hmm. on the back. We don't have that to show you, but yeah. that's an easy knit. Yeah, it so, is. It you is. know, it's something for everyone in this. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And this is my favorite thing because I'm into waistcoats because I overheat and mm. stuff. It wouldn't go with what I'm wearing now, hence we're not wearing it. I think <laughs> I'd look a bit busy. Yeah. So we have this one with the hoodie on the back and it's pattern 6077. Mm -hmm. And then on the back we have the simple waistcoat. And these are easy knits. They Do you want to yeah. hold it? Yeah, these are lovely. These are my favorite. Mm -hmm. Open the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can see the nice hood here. And the details with the nice ribbon around there. Yeah. I don't think this one. And also with the nice, is it a two by two rib going up the sides for the borders? Uh, or one uh, by one? Two by two. Yeah, two, two by, by two. two. On yeah. Um, yeah, I particularly, because I'm not a big hood fan. No, um, I, I'm not either. But there's a lovely fold back collar there that you, you knit double length and stitch down. And, and it looks um, so tidy that it without does. the raw edges. I think this is a like really that. classic style. Um, waistcoat. Like, yeah, I'm into yeah. my waistcoats lately. Yeah. Even if you didn't want these colours or something sort of this busy on on the um, on the yarn side, I think it's a really classic waistcoat. Oh yeah, you can just that in plain colours, you yeah. know, as well. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, um, this, it's my favourite. I should have mm. saved this for last. <laughs> I do really like this one. Yeah. Okay. Right, me next. Yep. So this is six oh eight one, um, and this uh, two men's jumpers we're just showing it in in the boys size through to the men's size this one goes from a 28 inch chest to a 46 inch chest so it's quite a good size range 
and it's got the saddle shoulders um, yes. which are not as difficult as a lot of people think they should be so they, they quite often avoid a saddle shouldered one because they think it's going to be more complicated but basically you're knitting the back and the front a bit shorter than you would and then you're adding the extra in and it goes over the shoulder the like shoulder. it says yeah, yeah. and it, it's a lovely ribbing effect so I have one here I really do like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um yeah, this is the men's one, so it's 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 the big one. Um but lovely two by two rib. The sleeves are all done in the two by two rib. They slot in really nicely to a sort of indent that you've created on the back and the front, and then you've got this lovely ribbon effect that goes over the top of the shoulder and actually carries along the back of the neck. So this is something people don't often realise that you've knit that extra chunk up to the neck and then you actually knit a section across the back of the shoulders and sew them together before putting the, the neck band on and it works really well but if you've never done one before it can feel it a can little be a bit, bit odd and a bit daunting when you're doing it at first but it works really really well yep. so uh, so yeah I particularly we like have, We have a drifter pattern mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Yeah, we I've do. done a diagram for it. So mm. if people get stuck, they can always like... You contact us and we'll, yeah, we'll send, I can you, send you that diagram. Of what you're expecting to knit. Because I think it's that the, you end up with something that looks quite an odd shape. Um, and there's a definite left and a right for the sleeves. Definitely. So, yep. Um, yeah, so don't be put off. If, if you're past being a beginner, then this is doable. Um, you know, maybe maybe not your first knit, but uh, oh, definitely not your first <laughs> knit. <laughs> yeah. no. But if you've had a little bit of experience, this is not too difficult to do, and it's, yeah. it's an interesting one. And most men don't want things that are too fancy or complicated looking, um, or too busy looking. So this is an option of getting a bit of detail into it without it feeling overwhelming. Over much, too, yeah, um, too yeah. Long. So anyway, you can tell I like that one. Yes. Um, okay. okay. And the last one, oh, I have some more men's garments. I only have one today. Oh, oh. right. 6080. <laughs> I think I'm getting ahead of myself there. Yeah, it's the that. men's, isn't it? Yeah. It's a little boy's hoodie. So that there's a cardigan and a hooded cardigan. Yeah, and it's um, a lovely little hood. And it's inset sleeve, so fairly really mm. straightforward. Yeah. With the nice little pockets here. Yeah, I like the, the pockets side. actually a lot in this one because mm. they're kind of like. They're knitted as you go along, so you don't sew them on, you sew the backs with pocket yeah. linings. Yeah. I like that method a lot. Mm. A lot of people, I have actually created documents to help people with these kind of pockets. People yeah. get stuck on these a yeah. lot. Yeah. I don't That's know. Seem to visualize what they're making. Yes, um, yeah. But it, it, once you've done it, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, and, um, and it's and a really it, nice seamless way of having a more. pocket mm. and beautifully knit in yeah. the buttons as well. Yes. There are buttons as well. I think yeah. it's gorgeous. This for just a, like a simple, like hoodie with pockets for a little boy. Mm, yeah. yeah. And what's the and man's uh, one? We the don't... man's one is just the rolled over collar. Oh right. Okay. So you, okay. you knit the collar double length again, and you fold it back in, and sew it on. And um, yeah, really smart, nice one to do. I don't think I so, have that to no, show you. I think I think that one's disappeared onto one of the mannequins. So, um, <laughs> So yeah, if you're at one of the shows, you'll be able to see the things we see that. But yep. um, anyway, we hope you like it. We've um, we, we definitely we we have our favourites, don't we? In this yeah. one, um, yeah, yeah, these coats, yeah, and the the men's knits I think are really good in, in yes. this particular one. So uh, we always everybody struggles to find something a little bit different to do for for the man in their life because. Um, Oh yeah. Yeah, you can't add lace and things onto a man's garment generally. No, it and is. they want things like no frills, either yeah. like simple Aaron things yeah, or they do. stock and stitch, mm. simple round neck cardigans and yeah. you know. So this uh, this we think is great. So um so thanks for watching. Yep, thank you um, for watching. Don't forget to like us yeah. and we'll see you again soon. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye.